so we're headed headed back. What I would like to be able to do is feel comfortable enough to leave these poles and go across across the river over there. Technically, this is I've always known it as a creek. Uh, this is actually the creek part. Once we get past the dam, it becomes technically a river, but regardless. I'd like to be able to leave those, take off over there to the other side and go walking in the woods, but I don't really feel confident in leaving these here and taking off, so I don't think I'm going to do that, but maybe I can take my pole back over to that little spot that we saw that was blocked off and maybe do a little bit of fishing in there and see if there's anything that's caught in there and maybe I can catch catch a fish or two I saw some ripples in the water before we came back I didn't have the camera on but I did see some ripples. I don't know if it was something that fell into the water or something that moved. Oh, there, nope, there's ripples right there. I don't know if you guys can see that from the distance at which the camera was at or not, but there's actually ripples from something in the water. Big crane. All right, so let's set the camera up and let's just toss the line in. Just see if maybe we can't catch a bluegill or something. That's about the best I'm going to get. I don't want to mess around and try to adjust this because, as you all know, my tripod does not work properly. Oh. I don't even know if I'm in view. Yeah. Regardless. It's definitely pretty deep over there. I mean, I can see to the bottom. It's still pretty deep. You can't draw something to it. Ah, so I'm thinking that maybe I can leave these two stakes here, take this stuff back up to the van, and then go to the other side and do a little walk and come back and hopefully no one has messed with these. And honestly, if, if I do lose them, Really what I'm losing is six hooks and two sinkers, which isn't anything to sneeze at in a, from my perspective, but, and, and some really nice spider wire, you know, uh, and I really like those sticks, so I don't want to lose them, but I do want to go wandering around, and I don't want to sit here all day and eyeball these just to make sure they don't get messed with, so... I think I'm going to risk it. I'm going to take my stuff back up to the van and then I'll come back down and we'll go off to this side down here and take off into the woods and do a little bit of uh, filming in there. All right, so I got to make sure I pick up my trash because I do not want to leave trash laying around out here like everybody else does. Now I need two of these for the poles, for the sticks. This one can be trash but I need these two to stay here because they go with the poles that are sitting over there so I'm gonna leave those there until I get up pick up the poles let's get this stuff back to the van and let's continue on with our adventure okay so I'm up on the bridge and there are my poles my sticks Now, from up here, it kind of looks difficult to see. I don't know what the camera looks like, but it, they're easily spotted from here. 
and I'm just hoping that nobody messes with them. All right, so we're getting ready to walk into the, uh, to the, I guess, trail area. It says uh, no parking sign here, but the DNR does it all the time. You know, they, they feel fucking special or something. But anyway, uh, I'm walking in with just my camera and two extra batteries. I don't have anything else. So hopefully I can just come in here and try not to worry about my uh, fishing stakes and just uh, go about a, a nice, wonderful, relaxing walk in the woods. Nice, brisk, windy day. <laughs> The water is down really low compared to the way it usually is. So, considerable amount more of the shoreline is exposed than usual. I think this is probably a good idea, a good time if I wanted to, to get down there and maybe find some old fishing lures or maybe even some fossils on some rocks that are usually not exposed. So this is usually up here, all the way up to this grass, it's usually underwater. As you can see, we have an abundance of honeysuckle. They are. Oh, pardon me. Here we go. If you can see the honey locust tree, my favorite of all trees. Let me zoom in on that bad boy. Look at that. The ultimate in protection right there. And of course, we can't walk anywhere around here without finding black walnut. Black walnut tree right there. Another one of my favorites. You'll find black walnut everywhere you go around here. It's almost impossible to walk somewhere in this entire county when you can't find a black walnut. And there we go again. This one's much closer. We can actually see this one again. The honey locust. These are old and dead now but come next year these bad boys are going to be a beautiful red and very very sharp oh they're super sharp now i have to tell you right now that, that is deadly and look what we found here look at that another blue jay feather oh ho ho can't say it's the same blue jay but I just saw a blue jay flying around about five minutes ago and it was it was squawking and yakking up something fierce 